everyone, and welcome to Ocean Institute. My name is Andrea Smith, and I am the manager of public programs here. I know that you guys can't come to Ocean Institute, so we wanted to bring the fun of Ocean Institute to you. So thanks for learning with us today. In this experiment that you can easily do at home, I'm going to teach you that you can actually hear exactly like a dolphin does using echolocation. So let's start with the basics, like what is echolocation? Echolocation is the projection of sound waves through the water. It can be used for communication, for hunting. And who does echolocation? Well, everyone's favorite example is a dolphin, or at least it was until the movie Finding Dory came out. That's right, if you're thinking the beluga whale Bailey, when he puts his little fins on his head and goes woo, he's using his echolocation. Now, that isn't exactly the scientific way that echolocation works, but it does give you a good idea of it. We're going to talk about the way that echolocation works today, and we're going to do that in several ways. Uh, you will need some items to do this at home. If you have a slinky, please grab that. If you have a cutting board, grab that. You need two forks, some string, yarn will work too. Uh, you don't want ribbon though, you need it to be able to conduct your sound waves, so string or yarn is the way to go, and a bucket of water. So the first way we're going to explore echolocation today is using our slinky. And for that, I'm going to bring my friend Dan in, who's going to help me demonstrate. We will be keeping the six-foot rule of social distancing during this game, but you can play with your siblings or your parents or your friend or whoever's around. So in this game, I am going to be the dolphin and Dan is going to be the fish. So I am the predator and Dan is my prey. So the way I find my prey in the ocean using echolocation is send out sound waves. Those sound waves will hit my prey, which is the fish, the yummy fish I want to eat as a dolphin, and it will project back to me, telling me where the fish is, so I can find my fish and eat it. You guys can take turns being the fish and the dolphin, and have a lot of fun with sound waves. Thanks, Dan. No problem. Appreciate your help. The next way is to actually visualize echolocation is seeing the sound waves move through water, because of course that's how they travel. So this is where your tuning fork comes in. I know that most people don't have a tuning fork just laying around at home, but if you happen to have one, um, any really good piece of aluminum or metal will do too. So you're going to take your cutting board, because you don't want to hit the furniture, because that's going to make the parents mad, and we don't want that. So you are going to hit the cutting board to make it vibrate. So it's sending those sound waves out. Hit that put it in the water, and you can see the sound waves moving through the water. So that's a really fun way to see echolocation. So now the really fun part. How do you hear like a dolphin? So using echolocation, you're going to do this with a partner, you can do it with yourself, I'm going to demonstrate on myself since we're trying to keep distance from each other. You're going to go ahead and take one hand and plug your ear up so that you're not hearing the tuning fork make the sound the normal human way. You want to hear it the dolphin way through echolocation. Plug your ear up, hit it so you have sound waves going, flip it, trying not to touch this part of the tuning fork because you'll stop the sound waves, and put it up against your chin. And you're going to listen. You will hear a sound in your ear because those sound waves are traveling up your jawbone and into your ear canal, translating into sound. You can do this on your own and it works perfectly fine. You can do it with a partner, totally up to you. So let's say, oh, I don't have a tuning fork at home, you know, I'm not a musician. Can I still do this? You absolutely can. It's really, really easy with household items. This is where you want to have two forks and your string. That's all it takes to hear like a dolphin. It's pretty cool. So, since we're trying to keep a distance from each other, uh, you can do this with a sibling at home, but I'm going to use my little helper here, which is my favorite animal in the ocean, a beluga whale. So he's going to be my demonstration, so pretend like he is my sister, or my cousin, or my mom. And they are going to use these strings up against their ears. You kind of plug your ears with them. 
You want to make sure that your lines aren't crossing, which is a little harder on a stuffed or a little blue whale here because his ears are really close together. So you're going to take your other fork and simply hit it. Works just like the tuning fork. You can easily do it at home. That is how you hear like a dolphin. So how do you make this? Again, super, super easy. Thank you, Blue Oil, for demonstrating with me. With your string and or yarn, you're going to measure it out because you don't want your tuning fork so far that it's way on the ground and it's hard to get. And you also need a little bit extra to wrap around your fork. So after you measure it, you're going to cut it. And of course, what happens to rope when we cut it? It can fray, so you're going to tie two knots in the end so that you can hear like a dolphin for a really long time. It'll keep you nice and entertained and learning and you can show your friends. You can also always just make a new one. All right, you're going to take your fork you are going to wrap it around three to four times. And you want it to be pretty tight because you need it to conduct your sound waves and hold in place. So once you've wrapped it around, really easy, you're just going to tie a knot. Really simple knot. We'll do here, or you can use one of the fancy knots you learned with Dan. And there you have it. You can hear like a dolphin, just like we can. Just hold it right there, have a partner, take your other fork, and you're good to go. Thank you for learning about echolocation with me today. I know I had a great time, and I hope you have a great time with it at home as well. Uh, if you are enjoying these educational videos, please consider supporting Ocean Institute at oceaninstitute.org or by clicking the link below. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.